I'm playing two worlds two 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 Two Worlds 2 is a game that exists. I don't know how they got it in their heads that the world needed more of that game, but I digress. It was titled Two Worlds The Temptation. The Temptation of what? No idea. If I had to guess, Dr. Pepper. The developer knew that this game had to be terrible and even fully acknowledged how good the first one is. They even sent out apology letters to retailers explaining how sorry they were that Two Worlds is good. I am making that up. Sorry. The game opens in a the game. They're being tortured by this guy. Gandalf. I do that every day. Apparently he's been chosen by some prophet. But the orcs doubt him. This is it? We came here for this? I do that every day. Before the group can escape, they're stopped by a deer. He fights Rogdor here in a cutscene that tries <laughs> She pretty much explains that bad things will happen. I need the prophet to tell me that, but oh. everybody has the most unnatural body movements I have ever seen. Seriously, it looks like a bat trying to perform a theater troupe consisting of second graders. I do that every day. The very first battle that I get into that isn't part of the tutorial is against a deer. The first game had consisted of mashing on the right trigger to swing your sword around. This game though, you swing your lightsaber around. Instead of acting like your sword was a lightsaber though, you do this ridiculous footwork. This is supposed to be medieval swordplay. Why is this guy trying to be a Dr. Pepper master? The controls are needlessly complex. Get this. In order to start combat, you need to unsheathe your weapon. To do that, you unsheathe your weapon. Why? It gets worse. To sprint, you unsheathe your weapon. To sneak around, you trigger. Theater troop consisting of second graders. I do that every day. Anyway, I'm supposed to get into this tower to find Gandahar's plan, right? But of course, the gate is blocked. So I need to get a I go through the gate. But there's another gate blocking the way. So in order to get through that one, I need to help a commander murder another town. I do that every day. The first two worlds had an atrocious script with equally laughable voice acting. Your sister is- Now, we're ready to save the Matrix. I go through a secret passage through their dungeons and make my way to the throne room. And it's here that the game inexplicably starts throwing plot twists at you. Let me sum it up. Surprise! Gandahar was always a dick. That's it. That's the game. That's why my final rating for this game is Dr. Pepper out of 10. I do that every day.